All right, so when I get that other case half cleaned up, we will be, I will be putting the bearing back in it. Now I want to get this lock ring out of here. All right, I want to get it out where I can inspect it. The way we're going to get it out is uh, it up the bolts. You're supposed to replace these bolts according to the factory manual. Remove and discard the bolts. Uh, I don't know why because they're only the only torque to 30 foot pounds. It ain't like they're stretched. And my little adapters wore out. So. It don't want to stay on my socket. Don't want to stay on it. Remember now, this is not the case I'm going to be using. Why am I even fooling with this case? This is not the case I'm going to be using. I think the reason I'm fooling with this case is just to find out how to get these out. But I don't think I'm going to have that much trouble getting them out of this case. So I'm not even going to fool with this case. Let's get that out of the way. All right, for the same deal with this one, we're going to remove the lock, the lock ring, and I've got to go get me some sealant before I can put start putting stuff back together. Some Loctite 515 sealant is what goes on these cases. Yeah, I think I can use my little zipper again. These all have a yellow uh, ceiling on them. And I don't know what, what kind of ceiling that is. I don't know if this case has been rebuilt before. I don't really know a whole lot about it other than I bought it off eBay. So it's got these little uh, Loctite 5, 517, what's, uh, 515 on here. This is the lock ring right here. And you can see the blackness on it. That's the Loctite. So they had it glued down. You want to inspect these for any cracks, any teeth missing. This one looks in good shape. See there is the bearing, and I can actually still see see the damn seal in there. It went right through the seal. Something done got one heck of rubber. It's mostly rubber. Just a little bit of damn metal. And since that thing is so uh it's different. It makes it a lot harder to hit the edge of that metal. And that metal is very thin in this case. It's weebly and wobbly. 
needs a little better support than what I got under it. But but we get one way or another is coming out. So there's the seal. And we'll make sure we didn't damage this area here. We, the seal does not need to cover up these holes. I don't know if you can see them in there. These oil holes here and here. We don't want to cover them up. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to dry the bearings out. And I ain't no guarantee that it's going to work. This is not the right size. This is the smaller of the two, I know that ain't gonna work. I believe that will work to drive that bearing out. It just ain't gonna be the right size to put it back in. It's gonna make it a little bit more tricky. smaller like right there Damn, what the hell? and that and I'm probably gonna need a bigger hammer Seals out and one bearing is out. And another bearing's out. So there's the bearings, and you, I can tell these are the cheaper bearings. So, we got two bearings, identical, and the seal, they go on there like that. And now, since I've got both case halves tore apart, basically, what I'm going to do is, they also took out some, a piece right here, I'm going to have to get out of that other case and also the full drive indicator is missing what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go wash these in good hot soapy water both case halves will come back and we'll install the bearings all right since this one was already pretty clean it didn't take long to finish cleaning the other half is very very dirty so i've got it soaking so while it's soaking in good hot water, hot soapy water, we're gonna go ahead and install these two bearings right here. You're gonna install one at a time. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and lubricate these bearings. So we're gonna lubricate the outside of the bearing and the bearings themselves inside here. And we're going to slide it in right here. Now you could, you could drive these from the other side. It's just, to me it's just easier to drive them from this side. I don't have the right bearing driver for this. Too bad. So I'm going to have to use my 
socket again and try to first I'm gonna try to tap it, get it set in there. I don't know if that's gonna work too good. Then I'm gonna put my bearing I'm gonna put a bigger hammer here. See if we can get this thing to go in straight. It's kind of going to go crooked there. And it's always a good idea when you're driving stuff like this to wear your safety glasses. Let me put mine on. I've got it seated now in here. I know y'all probably can't tell from the angle, but it is seated. Now I've just got to continue to drive it on down. We just want to kind of stay centered on this thing. What's dropping over here? Oh, my. oh my old bird. No, that's my new bird. Excuse me. My other new bird. And we're going to continue to knock it in until uh, so I get past this oil hole. Past the oil hole now. Let's turn it over and make sure we hadn't gone too far. And I don't think we have. I think uh, it is fairly flush with that. It ain't really going to hurt nothing to uh, knock it in just back in just a hair. I think it was recessed just a little bit from flush. But the biggest thing you want to make sure, can you see this, this oil hole right in here? Let's see if you can see it. That oil hole in there, you want to make sure that's exposed. Because if not, you're gonna burn your bearings up in short order. All right, so the next bearing, Got the dirt dusted off just a little bit when it fell. Didn't really get too bad dirty, but now we're gonna install the same way. We'll go ahead and lube it up a little bit and get some oil in them bearings. And we'll oil up the outside housing to just help it slide in a little better. And we'll do the same thing with it. We'll try to get it starting in straight. And this one's going to be pretty much flush. You want this one to be fair to flush with the top right here. 
make sure that you can see your oil hole between the bearings. And I can. So now we need to go find our seal. First I'm going to uh, lube it up and then we're going to use this baby in. And we'll use this to tap it in. Son of a bitch. The fucking goddamn spring come out of son of a bitch. Can you believe that crappy fucking bearing? The motherfucking spring come out of it. 